Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello friends, I hope you are all well. Today we are going to do the activities of Unit 3 of World and Pollution from the book English Language for Grade 9, Balochistan Textbook Board Quetta. So let's start. Question number 1. Reread the lesson and choose the correct option to complete the following sentences. The first one is the word pollute means to make something dash or destroy the purity of something. It means to clean, to make something dirty, heavy or noisy. It's to make something dirty. The atmosphere gets dangerously polluted due to dash, oil, gases and chemicals. Burning, buying, storing and wasting. The burning. <coughs> the burning of fuel or energy emits dash and other gases. Carbon dioxide, hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen. Which one of it? Which is correct? Carbon dioxide. Garbage in our streets and localities create dash conditions. Hygienic, peaceful, suitable or unhygienic. Unhygienic. The piercing sounds of different kinds of machinery causes dash pollution. Air land noise or water it causes noise pollution number two write down the meanings of the following words and use them in your sentences i'm not going to tell you the meanings because i have already done them in the pre in my previous lecture so i'm just going to make their sentences the first word is dumped i dumped the trash in the bin emit the burning wood caused to emit a lot of smoke. Insanitation. Insanitation can cause a lot of diseases. Preserve. We should preserve our natural resources. Piercing means the siren was like a piercing needle. Critical thinking. What immediate steps can be taken to control noise pollution? I will answer this question in the next slide. <coughs> now we come to grammar. Now we will learn simple, compound and complex sentences. First of all comes simple sentence. A sentence consisting of only one clause with the single subject and predicate is called simple sentence. There are two examples given here. The one, uh, number one is he has a big garden and the second one is I will give you a book. Number two compound sentences. A compound sentence is made up of two or more simple sentences also called independent clause. Actually it connects two independent clauses by coordinate conjunctions, punctuation or both. Coordinate conjunctions includes words like and, but, or so still yet for or otherwise he has a garden and see the conjunction and is used it is very big i will give you a book but you have to return it complex sentence a complex sentence contains one independent clause and one or more independent clauses Dependent clauses begin with subordinate conjunctions like when or a relative pronoun like who or that. He has a garden which is very big. Independent clause. Independent clause means like he has a garden. It can stand on its own. It makes uh, it means something. He has a garden. But which is very big. This is a dependent clause. If we cut he has a garden. Uh, which is very big is left when we say it alone it doesn't make any sense what is very big because the garden is very big he cannot water it do it today this now the dependent clause can come first or last because the garden is very big is the dependent clause he cannot for water it today is the independent clause now back to the this question i said i will go uh, i am going to tell you in the next slide 
The question was, what immediate steps can be taken to control noise pollution? We should reduce the use of appliances which make a lot of noise. We should not use horns near hospitals and reduce the sound of music when approaching them. We should watch television at a slow volume. We should talk in a normal volume when you are talking to one person or slow volume when you are in a crowd. We should avoid going to noisy places. People should produce and use cars that make less noise. There are other uh, reasons. Close the windows. Use earplugs. Improve your insulation. Do frequent lubrication and maintenance of machinery. Plant trees. Shut the doors. Cancel or mask the noise. Move or choose a home in noise-free areas. Replace old automobiles with new one. Create awareness and education in the consequences of noise pollution. Declare a no-horn zone near hospitals, schools and residential areas. So, write down three examples for each type activity. First, we are going to write off simple sentences. He bought a new mobile phone. He is going to Greenland. He needs medical attention. Compound sentences. He owns a car that is very fast. That is the con conjunction here. He owns a house which is very big. Which is the conjunction over here? I will give you something, but in exchange, see, later uh, before this I said it can also be joined by punctuations. By punctuations, I meant commas. You will give me something too. Now come complex sentences. He is alone at home, so he cannot go out. He has his final exams, so he has to work extra hard. He needs to pass the exam. Then he will get his present. In these sentences, now I will going. I will be telling you the independent and dependent clauses in the sentences. He is alone at home. This is the independent. If we only say he is alone at home, it makes sense. Or if we say so, he cannot go out. This is an uh, dependent. This is independent, and this is a dependent clause. It doesn't make sense alone. He has his final exams, so he has to work extra hard. He has his final exams. This is an independent clause. So he has to work extra hard. This is a dependent clause. He needs to pass the exam. This is an independent clause. Then he will get his present. This is an independent clause. We are not going to do this one. I will be doing it in my next lecture. So that's it for today's lesson. Subscribe our channel Computer Education Pakistan. Like this video if you enjoyed. Press the bell icon so you can get our latest notifications. And also like our Facebook page Computer Education Pakistan. Allah Hafiz.